Our last topic in section 2.3 on lines has been equations for parallel and perpendicular lines. So we've looked at example 10 where we determined if two lines were parallel given the equation, not a graph, just given the equations for two lines, how do we know if they're parallel? And we said the slopes have to be the same, the y-intercepts have to be different, so just put them in slope-intercept form and make those comparisons. The other type of question for parallel and perpendicular lines, so that's one type of question we'll encounter. Are these two lines parallel? Here's the second kind of question we'll encounter. They will say, here's an equation for a line. Find the equation for a line that's parallel to it, but passes through this point. So we're asked to find an equation for a line, in this case, that is parallel to 4x plus y equals negative 8, and it passes through this point. So remember, for parallel, the slopes have to be the same. If it's parallel to this line, it will have the same slope as this line. So here we have that line. Let's find the slope of that line. In other words, put it in slope-intercept form. So if we subtract 4x from both sides, we get y equals negative 4x minus 8. So we know the slope must be negative 4 for the equation we need to write, for the line we need to write, because they're parallel. Then it says, use the point-slope formula with the slope in part a to write the equation of the line. So now we know we need a slope of negative 4, and this line we're writing an equation for has to pass through that point. So that's our y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. y minus negative 3 equals negative 4 times x minus 2. y plus 3 equals negative 4x plus 8. Subtract 3, and we get y equals negative 4x plus 5. Okay, so we had y equals negative 4x minus 8. y equals negative 4x plus 5. They have the same slope. They have different y-intercepts. This is the equation for a line parallel to that line that passes through this point. By putting that point in there, I'm saying this point is on the line, right? So we have found the, that equation. So that's the type of problems we'll see for parallel lines. Are these two lines parallel? And the second type is, here's an equation for a line. Write the equation for another line that's parallel to it that passes through a particular point. So next we'll look at perpendicular lines.